<laughs> All right. Hi again, everybody. Welcome to the post game press conference from the fourth and final game of day two of the Summit League Basketball Championships. We'll be joined by coach and players from both teams. Um, the game that just ended, the third seeded Bison defeated six seeded Kansas City. 69 to 65 to advance to Monday's second men's semifinal at 8.45 p.m. The Bison will play second seeded South Dakota in that game. Um, North Dakota State is into the semifinals of this tournament for the fourth year in a row. Um, as a reminder, uh, please use the chat function in Zoom to type out any questions that you would like me to ask on your behalf. Before you type your question, please identify yourself and your organization and who the question is directed to. We will get to as many questions as we can in the allotted 10 minute time window. Thanks in advance to coaches and players for being here. And uh, Coach Richmond, if you wouldn't mind starting with an opening statement, then we'll open it up for questions from the media. Yeah, I mean, obviously really proud of the guys and just really proud of uh, us being able to find a way. It certainly wasn't pretty. Uh, you know, uh, Billy Donlin coach group wasn't going to go away. They're a bunch of fighters and um, gave us a battle. It gave us everything we could handle. But, um, you know, that lead, uh, you play 40 for a reason and we're not going to apologize for the 20 some point lead. Um, but uh, I think the other exciting point is, is I'm still here in March as the head coach of this group, and there's still a better version that, that, that I can coach to and they can play to. Um, wasn't pleased with how we finished some possessions and, and, and making some hits, some different things like that. And um, obviously, we're going to have our hands full tomorrow night and need to be a better version of ourselves. Thank you, Coach. We've got uh, questions in the queue already. The first one is from Eric Peterson <laughs> from the Forum in Fargo, and this is for Rocky. Uh, describe the block in the final seconds of the game on, on McKissick. Uh, yeah, you know, our game plan after that was to uh, switch that ball screen, uh, make sure we didn't give up a three, you know, up by two, really didn't want to um, give up a lead like that. So uh, switched it, um, made a pretty good move to his right hand, and then I, you know, got a hand on it. Luckily we did. Uh, the other student athlete joining us today is Tyree Eady, and uh, you just heard from Rocky Cruiser. Um, another question from Eric Peterson, the Sanford coach. How important was that final sequence of the first half to build that 16-point lead going into halftime? And I think Rocky put up a high-energy five in a row during that run. Yeah, it was extremely important. And I, and I think that's what, you know, again, it's the frustrating point, yet uh, at the same sense, it's the exciting uh, point, too, where we can be a better version of ourselves longer. Uh, and we, we've, we've showed 25 minutes here. We've showed, you know, 20 minutes here. We've showed 19 minutes here. And, and there's still a better version of us for 40. And, and, but you see what we're capable at times. Now we've got to just put that together and be more consistent because, you know, the deeper you go into March, the, the tighter and tighter things get. Reminder of the media, go ahead and ask questions through the chat function, and uh, I will read them out loud. Maybe a question for Tyree going off of what, what Coach said. Um, looked like you guys were having a whole lot of fun during that run. What's, what's that like when you got a roll in it? Everybody was, you know, the, your fans even, they sounded a lot more like 50 of them the way they were into the game, and, and that, that looked like a blast. Yeah, like Coach says, this is a better version of ourselves. When we're out there playing, having fun, doing, you know, what we've been doing our whole lives, um, it's just special. I and mean, we love each other. We're really tight as a group, and that's just us, um, the result of us out there having fun. I'm sure the question will come up eventually, Rocky. Um, uh, you're just minutes off a, a, a tightly contested game, but obviously you've got another challenge tomorrow in South Dakota, um, and you played them just this last weekend. What are your thoughts just off the top of your head going into that one? Um, obviously a super talented team. You know, they got the number two seed for a reason. Um, got a really, really good player in, in Stanley Mude um, and a lot of really good supporting pieces around him. Um, we're going to have to bring it for 40 and, and come out with our uh, different mindset and and uh, come out for a full 40 this time. Got a question from Todd Buckingham of Reaching the Summit podcast. This is for Coach. Um, would, would you say the, uh, the change there in the last few minutes was, uh, you know, your team getting, getting comfortable and maybe, maybe um, uh, coasted a little bit versus um, what, what Casey did to ramp things up? You know, I don't know. I'll have to go back and watch it here tonight, too. Like I said, I, you know, we are a defensive-minded team. When we are at our best, we defend, rebound, you know, and then take care of the ball. And we, we just didn't you know, finish possessions. We didn't handle certain situations, uh, you know, from a scouting report thing well in the second half. And, 
you know, we, we can't let our, our offense dictate our defense and vice versa, too, at, at times. But, you know, when we are at our best, we're getting stops and playing in the open floor just like we were at the end of the first half. You have a question for Tyree. I mentioned you guys have been uh, one in the quarterfinals now four years in a row. Um, what, what do you think that says about your team, your program, your coaches? Is it really good preparation? Is it a mentality? It's not easy to win that opening game, you know, time in and time out. You guys have done that really well. Yeah, I mean, we're a culture-based team. So, you know, we have seniors that pass down the tradition to us, and we go out there and just play hard, and we bring it to the young guys. So it's on us, me, Rocky, and Sam, to bring their young guys, Grant, and Des, and Bill, to make sure they're ready to play. And so that's just a result of us just playing hard and, you know, just being good guys. All right, guys. We've got time for uh, two more quick questions, if anybody from the media would like to uh, take advantage of that. Uh, another question from Todd Buckingham for Coach. Um, what are a few keys uh, you think for your team tomorrow against South Dakota? Well, Rocky touched on it. Stanley Amude is an elite level player. He's going to you know, uh, make a lot of money and be really successful for a long time playing the game of basketball. The other one that the other two guys that to, to me, Comateros has really stepped up his game and he had a bunch of threes against us last weekend, but he's also physical in, in the post and in the Fuller kid. I just, you know, I was actually talking to, to Coach Lee this morning, you know, over coffee and as a coach, you love to see kids develop and get better. Um, and, and from the first time that we've played them here um, in that Pentagon deal with the Dakotas and, and to see him today uh, I mean, he's gotten a lot better and, and they've got other parts that have stepped up uh, around them uh, certainly it hurt it, it hurts with without Plitz white for them but you can see the other guys they understand that they got to raise their level of play and they're doing that fantastic with that yeah okay with, with that we'll let the gentleman from North Thanks, Dakota guys. State thank, thank you guys thank you. appreciate it and uh, we will pause momentarily